The question we are going to solve in this lecture is similar to the question we solved in the previous lecture. The difference is there in the data only. Now you will ask me what is the point of solving a question when it is similar to the question we have already solved? The answer is this particular question appeared in GATE, Electronics and Communication Engineering 2014 paper. So you must know that after completing the syllabus properly, you can easily solve the questions which appeared in the exams like GATE. That's why we are going to solve this question and as we already know all the basics, we will solve it very quickly. In this question, you can see that the message signal xt is equal to cos 10 pi t plus cos 30 pi t. So it is clear that there are two frequencies 10 pi and 30 pi. In the previous lecture, the message signal was equal to 10 sine 400 pi t. There is only one frequency and therefore this frequency is the maximum frequency component omega m in the message signal. But here you can see that there are two frequencies 10 pi and 30 pi. So we need to select the larger frequency which is 30 pi. So maximum frequency component in the message signal xt is equal to 30 pi radians per second. But you can see that all the other frequencies are given in hertz. We will convert the maximum frequency component in hertz. This means we will calculate fm. fm is equal to omega m divided by 2 pi. This means it is equal to 30 pi divided by 2 pi which is equal to 15 hertz. So we have calculated fm. Now we will read the question further to get the other important parameters. The message signal is sampled at 20 hertz. This means the sampling frequency fs is equal to 20 hertz. In the previous lecture, the sampling frequency was equal to 300 hertz. Now, the sampled signal is reconstructed using an ideal low pass filter, same as the previous case with cutoff frequency equal to 20 hertz. The cutoff frequency fc is equal to 20 hertz. In the previous case, the cutoff frequency was equal to 150 hertz. And we need to find the frequency or frequencies present in the reconstructed signal. There are four options and we need to choose one correct option. So you can see that the question is pretty much same as the previous question with a different data and now we will solve this question further. We know after performing the sampling we get the sampled signal st and to reconstruct the message signal we pass the sampled signal to a low pass filter and in this case we are having an ideal low pass filter. So we are passing it through an ideal low pass filter and the output of the ideal low pass filter is the reconstructed signal. We will represent it by x subscript r t. We know the frequency components in the input. We know the frequency components in the input. We can calculate them using n f s plus minus f m. We have fs, it is equal to 20 hertz. We have fm, it is equal to 15 hertz. Putting different values of n, we will get different frequency components in the input. But the question is asking about the frequency or frequencies present in the reconstructed signal. This means it is asking about the frequency components in the output. So first we will calculate few frequency components in the input and then we will move on to the calculation of frequency components in the output. First, I will put n equal to 0. When n is equal to 0, we will have 
plus minus fm so from here we are getting two frequencies the first frequency is equal to plus fm this means plus 15 hertz plus 15 hertz and the second frequency is equal to minus fm so we have minus 15 hertz now i will put an equal to one this will give us fs plus minus fm fs plus minus fm again we will get two frequencies fs plus fm and fs minus fm fs plus fm is equal to 35 hertz and fs minus fm 20 minus 15 is equal to 5 hertz now let's put n equal to minus 1 we will have minus fs plus minus fm minus fs plus minus fm and there is no need to calculate it because we will get negative frequencies and in the option negative frequencies are not there so we will not calculate it further let's put n equal to 2 this will give us twice of fs plus minus fm twice of fs plus minus fm 2 times fs is equal to 40 plus fm this means plus 15 is equal to 55 40 plus 15 is equal to 55 hertz then we will have 2 fs minus fm 40 minus 15 this will give us 25 hertz similarly you can calculate the different frequency components for different values of n but we will stop here and now we will move on to the next part of the lecture in which we will pass the frequency components through the ideal low pass filter and for this we will focus on the cutoff frequency which is equal to 20 hertz this means from minus 20 hertz to plus 20 hertz the frequency components will be passed so all the frequency components from minus 20 hertz to plus 20 hertz will be passed by the ideal low pass filter and the frequencies which are outside this range will be stopped by the low pass filter and therefore in the output only those frequencies will be present which are within this range so let's quickly scan the frequencies we are having here the first two frequencies are plus 15 hertz and minus 15 hertz and as we don't have to select the negative values we will not consider minus 15 hertz and it will be good if we modify our range as well we will not consider the negative values therefore the new range will be 0 to plus 20 hertz plus 15 hertz is there from 0 to plus 20 hertz so this will be included then we have 35 hertz and 5 hertz 35 hertz is outside this range but 5 hertz will be there again we have negative frequencies which we don't have to consider then we have 55 hertz which is outside the range then we have 25 hertz which is outside the range so you can see that in the output we will have 15 hertz and 5 hertz so option a is the correct option 5 hertz and 15 hertz only so a is the correct option of the question which appeared in gate 2014 electronics and communication paper if you want you can also perform the analysis using the waveform just draw the waveform of sf this is the spectrum of the message signal and we know this frequency here will be equal to fm and this frequency here will be equal to minus fm fm is equal to 15 hertz so this frequency here is equal to 15 hertz and this frequency here is equal to minus 15 hertz and you can see that there are two frequency components plus 15 hertz this one and minus 15 hertz this one after this you can draw the next spectrums following the frequency components you are having you can see that there is frequency component 
5 hertz so we will have the waveform like this this frequency here is equal to 5 hertz and this frequency is equal to 35 hertz and you can see that 5 hertz and 35 hertz are the frequency components when n is equal to 1 similarly you can plot the other spectrums but now we will multiply we will multiply h f h f is the frequency response of the low pass filter which is ideal in nature and you can see the cutoff frequency it is equal to 20 hertz 20 hertz will be somewhere here and minus 20 hertz will be somewhere here and we know the frequency response of an ideal low pass filter will look like this and you can see that 5 hertz and 15 hertz are the two frequency components which are passed through the ideal low pass filter frequencies other than this will be stopped by the low pass filter and we are not talking about the negative frequencies so 5 hertz and 15 hertz is the answer which you can obtain from the waveform as well but you need to calculate the frequency components to plot the waveform so why to waste time you can directly reject the frequencies which will be stopped by the low pass filter based on the cutoff frequency so the basic knowledge is important and using that you can easily solve the questions so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one